Hello, what's up? YouTube photographer Ronix with another and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how you can easily draw, fill up, and shape eyebrows within Photoshop. And let's see what we're going to be achieving at the end of the tutorial. So this is what we're going to be achieving. So this is the before, and this is our results for this very tutorial. And if at all this is what you have been looking for, I request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. So just going to come and delete our after layer so you're just going to come to the new background layer and simply press ctrl or command j on the keyboard to create a copy from the background layer and after doing that what we are going to do now we are basically going to come and we select our pen tool so if at all you have been doing retouching and you have a couple of layers below right here simply create a stamp visible layer by pressing if at all using pc by using shift alternate command e if at all you're using a pc rather you can use shift alternate control e on the keyboard then if at all you're using mac you can use shift option command e on the keyboard and that is going to help you create this layer that has information so after that you're just going to come and select our pen tool and we're going to make a path for our eyebrow so remember if at all you're drawing or shaping eyebrows you have to follow the shape of the nose remember the the nose is moving in this kind of direction so if at all you are to draw an eyebrow you can't draw it moving in this opposite direction so you have to follow this kind of movement and our eyebrow is going to be slanting to this direction so you're just going to come and make a point and make our second point and you're basically going to come and make our third point and make one point closer to that and just going to draw this down and you're going to come back so this looks a little bit awkward so we're just going to come and make about three points until when we reach this point when the eyebrow is meant to come down and you're going to make a last point so right click on the selection and come to make selection and come to new selection and make sure you use the feathering of three pixels and simply hit enter so this is going to be the path of our selection so this is going to be basically the shape of the eyebrow so after we have made that selection what we want to do we can now come and we start filling in the hairs within the eyebrow by following the direction of the hairs or majority of the hairs within the eyebrow so in order to do that we're just going to come right here and get the brush tool right click and get the brush tool and right now for the hardness I'm just going to leave it at relatively higher hardness I'm just going to be using about 50 that looks okay then after we've done that the mode is normal opacity and the flat 100 percent then what we want to do next after selecting our brush tool we can now zoom into the eyebrows in this case and reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and make sure it is a little bit smaller so let's first of all sample the color within the eyebrows by holding down the alternate key on the keyboard or option and clicking on one of the eyebrows so you can choose that color or you can as well go for a slightly darker color so in order to get a, a slightly darker color double click right here on the color swatches and you can drag this towards a darker end but remember eyebrows are not all the way black in color so you want to get a darker brown color and we are just going to use a very small brush and draw one stroke so that looks a little bit softer so we're just going to come back to the brush settings and simply make the hardness up to around 70 percent and simply hit enter make the brush a little bit smaller and you're going to draw our second strand that looks okay it looks fine but it is a little bit darker than the eyebrows in this case so we are just going to drag it and brighten it up a little bit more so that is okay and we're just going to draw once again so this to me looks a little bit better but it is still lacking so we're just going to draw again you sample and draw so that color looks okay to me it looks great so we're just going to be drawing the strands of uh the hairs within the eyebrows so i'm just going to do a rough 
or quick job right here so you have i think this can be best done if at all you're using a tablet but for this case i'm just using my uh, trackpad on my laptop to try and see if at all i can get a better result so you have to draw each and every strand and the most important thing to do in this case is making sure that you keep your eyebrows or the eyebrow hairs close to the edges so that at the end of it all we can still keep the original shape because the selection or the eyebrows we are filling in are basically stopping at the point when the selection or the point of contract for the selection that we made using our pen tool so we have to keep doing this so you have to follow and remember eyebrows are not basically moving in only one direction we have the ones that are a little bit defiant and we want to come and fill in those eyebrows so like i said when you're doing this for faster results you can use a wacom tablet to get faster and quicker results when it comes to uh, doing this process so i'm just going to do a slightly quick job and you can see a quick before and after so far we have now filled in majority almost of the hairs within the eyebrows so remember some parts in the eyebrows are going to be a little bit darker so make sure you keep it as natural as possible for your images so right now i'm done filling in majority of the hairs and this is the before and after but remember we still have some ones that are a little bit out of the selection so we want to make this look a little bit better by cleaning up the ones that are outside the selection so in order to do this we're just going to come to select and you're going to come to inverse so inverse is going to basically select the areas out of the eyebrow so you can either get your spot healing brush tool or even your clone stamp tool and you come and clean up the ones that are really out of uh, our selection so make sure you clean up those if, if at all you want to have a better image at the end of uh, this process so you have to take your time while doing this because i'm trying to do a rough one because i'm doing a, or making a trail and i don't want it to be so long so i'm just going to fill this in just like that and you can see it is very very nice and it looks a little bit more on the natural end if at all you take your time and you use the right brushes to work on the image so right now we are almost done filling in this so you can use ctrl or command d to deselect your selection so press ctrl or command d on the keyboard and that is going to deselect or remove your selection so you can see a before after before after for your eyebrow area so this is a before after before after so if at all you feel like you want to redo this you can come back to your selection and you come to your history and you can come back to your spot healing brush tool and you can come back and fill in whichever areas that you may have missed out so you can come to select then you can come back to inverse and it's going to select the eyebrows once again and using the same brush settings and you can come and fill in those areas you want it to fill in to make the eyebrow a little bit darker then you can as well make the eyebrow darker by coming and selecting your burn tool right here and make sure the range is in mid-tones and use a slightly low exposure of around 19 and you can come and fill in slightly darken so just make sure that you paint once and don't paint more than that time so once is going to be doing the job for you so you can hit ctrl command d on the keyboard to deselect your selection so that's the before after but after we have drawn the hairs they look a little bit flat so just want to sharpen these areas so i are just going to create another layer by hitting ctrl or command j on the keyboard and duplicate the layer that has our eyebrow so you can rename this to eyebrow so we want to sharpen these eyebrows and make them look a little bit more natural so with this selected 
come to filter and you come to other and come to high pass right here so with this done you can come and with a radius at around 0 0.5 or around 0 0.4 simply hit ok and come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it to linear light and that is going to add sharpening to the overall image so just come and create a layer mask close to this layer by holding down the alternate key on the keyboard and clicking on the layer mask icon and that is going to invert everything the sharpness from the overall image get your brush tool and make sure it is a soft round brush the hardness is at zero or pass in the flat 100 percent make sure you have white on the foreground on these color swatches or you can use x on the keyboard to switch between black and white or to reset to have black and red you can use these two small boxes so with that done you can simply increase on the size of your brush and simply paint on the eyebrows using a white brush and that is going to make the eyebrows a little bit more natural and a little bit stand out or protrude and make the eyebrows not look flat in any way so this is the before applying the sharpening and this is the after before after right now they look a little bit more on the real side so basically this is how to draw shape or sculpt eyebrows within photoshop and if at all you have found the video helpful make a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing trolls and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.